your girl lovely running around Sacramento driving. Um, I just wanted to, I'm bored actually, <laughs> but I just want to talk to you, um, everybody about why I love Sacramento. Um, well, a lot of you guys know that I am from Bakersfield, California, uh, born and raised. Um, I have been back and forth from Bakersfield, Sacramento since high school. I really, really love Sacramento. Even though the weather can be kind of retarded at times, but it's nothing compared to uh, that hot desert uh, heat. Um, the people here are so friendly. It's very, very diverse. Mm, I love the people here. The people here are friendly. A lot of people don't feel that way, but my experiences have been good i really can't really speak of too many bad experiences in sacramento um i haven't been discriminated against or anything like that you know i haven't had people treat me funny and plus a lot of you guys know i'm in a social club so the people are all just friendly and i think it's because the way i come off because i'm very friendly and uh, people orientated so the energy that I give off, that's the energy I get back from people. Um, there's a lot of people that are here from the Bay, and those are the ones I tend to hear to complain about Sacramento. Um, they say things like it's boring, there's nothing to do. Um, the people here are different. I don't see it. But anywhere I go is cool. Bakersfield, the difference between Bakersfield and Sacramento is, oh gosh, there's a there's a big difference. So anybody who's lived in Sac and came from Bakersfield, they can agree with me. There is a big difference. Mm. I think because Bakersfield is so, it's such a small place, and um. I think because everybody's, it, it, it kind of feels like everybody's in one area. You know, you still deal with racist stuff out there. I just watched like a documentary on Bakersfield and Oildale. Um, the people there tend to be more harder, like more hardcore in Bakersfield than they are in Sacramento. For example, those of y'all that sell weed or whatever y'all selling, you know, I, I haven't known anyone to be able to go to Sacramento, I mean, I mean, bad, go to Bakersfield and be able to set up shop, whether it's selling CDs, whether it's selling weed or whatever, whatever you're selling. I haven't known of anyone to go to Bakersfield and be able to just freely come up in Bakersfield like that, you know, easily like that. I haven't, I've never seen it happen. Out there, they take things more serious than out here. Well, I remember when I first moved to Sacramento, and they had a, a like a function or a party. I don't exactly remember what it was in Oak Park. <sighs> and coming from Bakersfield's majority Crips, I'm from the hood. You know, I'm from the hood. I'm a hood girl. I've been around hella hood shit. So when I moved out here, you know, when I can't, when I left Bakersfield, I didn't see Crips wearing red. They, you know, they was cripped out for real. You know, because I was born on the east side of Bakersfield, and I'm Crips, you know. So, when I moved out here, they had like a little function or whatever at Oak Park, uh, McClatchy Park. At that time, I didn't know it was McClatchy, but they had a big old party at McClatchy Park. I mean, it was people everywhere. I've never seen so many black people in one place unless it's like the Black History Parade or something or, you know, Lakeview. They don't call it Lakeview no more. I think it's called Martin Luther King Boulevard or Street or something, but it used to be called Lakeview on the east side of Bakersfield. So anyways, I've never seen so much red in my life. I mean, they have red rags on, like red socks, red shoes, red shoestrings. I mean, it, the whole freaking McClatchy Park was flamed up. And I was like, what the hell? Like, it was so foreign to me. It was just, and then to hear the word blood constantly was so weird. Like, it really, really bothered my soul. Like, 
y'all have no idea so i have a nephew his name is maurice and he's from bakersfield too but you know he don't even game bang so i don't even know what that was about but he was cousin everybody and i thought that was so weird nobody got on him you know nobody looked at him crazy or you know looked at him as being disrespectful like it was weird i was like in bakersfield you couldn't do that you couldn't walk up to no crips blood and about it's not gonna happen they're gonna get on your line for real and you're from out of town oh they're gonna get on your line so I felt that I thought that was beyond different. Their turf politics out here is just so different. Like it's different. Even from the kids, it's just different. You know, and not saying I condone gang banging, but like I said, I'm from the hood. That's what I was raised around. So, you know, it is what it is. It took me a long time, you know, to stop saying cuz for real. It was weird. I don't do that no more because I'm older. But it was different. It was different. I had some crib cousins that went to Grand High with me. And they used to say cuz all the time with hella bloods. And nobody, you know, nobody got on them. It was just so different. Just to see dudes from the Bay come out here and get a house and be able to sell weed or whatever. And nobody say anything. That was different. You can't do that in Bakersfield. I don't care what nobody say. You cannot go to Bakersfield and set up shop nowhere and not expect. And you from out of town? Oh, no. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You're going to either get ran out of town or you're going to be dead. You know? I think they're... Um, the way Bakersfield is more like L.A. You know what I'm saying? It's more serious out here. No. But like I said, again, that comes from just being different. SAC is different. It's so diverse, it's kind of hard to get on somebody when you got people who are coming from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I know a dude who just moved from LA and he opened him up a barbershop, you know? And they ain't nothing but love. You know, nobody turning funny or nothing. It's just love. I love SAC. So, that's my little story about Sacramento. So, if you haven't been here, um, come. You know, if you're from Bakersfield and you're well known and you wish you could just go somewhere and get away, you know, from all the people that you know in the environment. I suggest everybody move SAC. I'm not even gonna lie. I love SAC. You know, and the people that I have met who moved from there here don't wanna leave. Then it was the best decision. I'm glad I moved away from Bakersfield for my kids' sake. You know, that was my I'm glad that that was a good move for me as far as my kids because to be honest with you, there's really nothing there to do especially for black kids there's not much to do out there so yeah sacramento is a good move so anybody thinking about moving and changing their environment if you're a gangbanger or you you know you just got out of jail and you don't want to be around the same people and you want something different who to sack it'd be a good move for you i promise you and it's so big and the good thing about it if you do move out here and you're well known or you're a well-known gang member you don't have to worry about nobody getting on your line. You stay in your lane, motherfuckers stay in their lane. Now, if you come out here for problems and, you know, trying to buff your chest up and try to let people know who you is, then, of course, you know, somebody going to get on your line. But if you come out here just to raise your family and work and, you know what I'm saying, do you, you don't have to worry about that. So, that's my thoughts on it.